Hello and welcome back. So uh, a few weeks back I 3D printed a balloon powered uh, helicopter and uh, today I'm going to continue on that line and 3D print a balloon powered boat. So the one I picked today is the one from KI uh, downloadable for free on Thingiverse so uh, here we now are in Cura. We just wanna open it, uh, and uh, there's a few things we wanna change in the settings, obviously as usual. First of all, we have layer height. I want to print it on 0 0.2 because yeah, I want it to go quick. Uh, then we have uh, speed. I want to print it on 65 millimeters a second because I want it to go quick. That's it. Let's save it and print it. So three hours later I now have the boat in my hands and it's quite cool actually if you put in the light you can see the infill and my fingers all the way through and the reason for that is uh, I want it to be at as lightweight as possible obviously because I want it to float and with that said I used only 0 0.6 millimeter wide edges and 7% infill and uh, I think that turned out to be just a perfect combination between them two and uh, here we have the finished boat uh, let's just unplug the printer so we don't have a fire tonight and uh, I think tomorrow we are going to test it out because uh, yeah let's say it this way today is quite dark So uh, first of all, let's just see if it floats. Now that's deep enough, I think. Just this deep, but th that's good enough. So let's just take one of these pro quality helium ready balloons and uh, see if it even drives. So let's put it right here and see if it goes. So that works surprisingly well but but the exhaust is a little bit above the water which isn't good so I think we are going to just put some Legos here in the back to get it to kind of float uh, deeper. That's great, we have some Legos, let's add some weight. So, now we have this beautiful little contraption with Legos and I can tell you straight away, it is quite a lot heavier, so let's try it out. Look at that! Not too powerful, but, but hey, it's balloon powered, <laughs> what to expect? And now it's turning for some reason. And oh, it seems like the balloon is kind of dying. So what about going to a location where we have a little bit more space to play around with?
This creek was a lot smaller than I remembered it. Oh, this is the part I remembered. Great! Here it is. In all its glory. So it worked okay, but what I think happened is that the balloon had too much water inside so it would kind of lean to one side and that caused the boat to, yeah, drive very slowly. So let's try to fix that by using another new unused balloon. Yes, I visste att jag tog med dem. Alright, run number two. So the boat is right now right there, now I just have to bring it back on shore so that I can, yeah, hopefully go back home with the boat. And now it's upside down. Yes, now I can reach it. Here we have him. And air is still coming out. Great! That's a very successful project and uh, I want to thank every one of you that watched to the very end and as always don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell on to stay notified and uh, like the video. Have an awesome day as usual. Uh, see you. Bye.